Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD, and this is how to get the Omni Ability Net from Wakamurasaki's World Quest. So basically, it will help us capture animals and take them back or use them back in our Serenity Pot. So you'll just capture animals from around the world, go back to Serenity Pot, and put them there to customize them. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna show you when to get the quest, how to get uh, the quest, and how to get it done and all of the animals that you will be able to put back uh, in the serenity pod to customize it so not all of the animals will be can be caught i mean if you remember like sango's uh, initial quest uh, or the event where you he will send you to just rescue these animals but now we have the same almost modified item and we can use it to capture animals and take them back home so how does it work i mean like these are the animals that we can take we cannot take all of the animals back to our world after finishing uh, this world quest so you can see these are the list uh, of animals that we have and like the ones with the cage icon on it are the ones that we can capture. So the pigeons, the finch, one wild ibis, some crows, uh, some uh, snow foxes, few cats and all of the other item, I mean, uh, animals like the, you know, the crystal flies, frogs and on so and so. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you their locations. I'm just gonna show you how to get the quest. I'm gonna show you how to even finish the quest. So before we do that, please watch to this two minute product review from our side to help this channel out. Hey guys, thank you for your support. Here we got an amazing mantra from BenQ. It's Mobius EX2710R. It's a 27 inch curved monitor with an adjustable height and it can be tilted or swiveled by 15 degrees. The display is anti-glare, looks awesome. As for the connectivity, we have two HDMI 2.0, one DP 1.4, USB type B, two USB type 3s and an audio jack. It has a resolution of 1440p with 165 hertz and a coverage of 1000 with 1 millisecond response time as well as AMD FreeSync. It has 400 nits of brightness and the monitor itself, it looks great with an orangish finish at the bottom or the stand. We have three buttons at the bottom. One is the power, the middle one is the menu button. As for the last one is the input. And at the bottom right, we have the HDRI button to change to the configured or pre-selected HDR settings. But the best thing of all in this monitor is this. I love the true Chivolo sound in this monitor. Other monitors that I have, their sound is that is bad actually. So this one is amazing. And as you saw, the, this monitor supports 165 frames. So make sure that the setting is on on your display as well in the window setting. So you can truly experience 165 frames in this game. As you can see, I'm recording off screen. My phone is 60, recording at 60 frames per second. So it's not doing justice. To this video but I watched a couple of movies as well with the curvature the immersion is amazing the refresh rate with this sound yeah it's a it's a good bundle overall so if you want more information click the link in the description and as always thank you guys to get started or to get this quest first of all it's a world quest so it will show up in the world quest and these are the conditions that you need to meet so if you remember like Sango's event, this event should be done and complete. As you can see, I have time remaining of six days and I have finished all of these uh, events. So after six days, when this event is completely over, it's not been completed, but it's completely over. The event has ended. I, a quest will show up, a world quest will show up automatically where you have to speak with Sango and he, she will tell you about Wakamurasaki and she has modified the Ibugiti net. And you can find her here in this location after the event has ended. Speak with her and you will be able to buy five Omni Ibiguity Nets for 10,000 Mora every seven uh, days or a week. So you can just come back every week and do it. So what I recommend is uh, you just don't go with any normal party members. I mean, have a Sayu in your party member. Because if you have Sayu, you can go to the frogs, you can go to the lizards, you can go to the crystal flies, and they will not be afraid from you. So they will not run away from you. So this is, she is useful if you have her to capture some of the animals. And if you have Aloy, of course you do, for example, she is good when it comes to birds, when it comes to, you know, like boars and, and, and foxes and so on and so. 
Because if you have her in your party member, you don't have to use her, but if you have her in the party member, these animals will not get scared or fly away when you get too close to them. So yeah, use both. You mean if you have Sayo, amazing. And if you have uh, Aloy, of course, and as you can see, you, you will never be able to go near these, uh, these finches, you know? And you will not be able to get this close of these foxes. So yeah, take half of them in your party, then go and get this uh, quest started. So first of all, the first item that you can get is the white pigeon. She can, or the white pigeons can be found near uh, the uh, Mondstadt, you know, like the first area or the first castle, or uh, here in this location. But uh, the white pigeons are very, very, very common. So if you have the Omni uh, Ubiquity Net, equip that and capture these animals. I mean, for now, I don't have it because the quest does, did not start yet. But when it started, when everything is done, you can find these pigeon here and uh, you can uh, get them. Uh, these are very common, like I said, you can find them in more than one place. But I just found them here uh, for this video and, and these are it. Uh, these are the white pigeons. You might be confused uh, for like uh, about some pigeons because they look similar. But as you can see, the white pigeon, they only have black uh, like uh, wingtips, nothing else. And then the bright crown, this pigeon is actually kind of like you know like uh, it runs away it's rare but you can you need to like go to that uh, portal then walk all the way here if you like probably teleport to this portal they will fly away so this bright pigeon is, can be found here as you can see we have two of them here they look different we have white pigeon and we have the bright crown so you can find them here but if you still miss out uh, from these uh, bright crown which have the uh, what is it called the bluish head so the gray wind and the bright crown the difference is the blue head and the green head but yeah, if you miss that one if they flew away from you you can still find uh, the bright crown pigeon here uh, just just go a bit out that's where that's where we hey from. there's and you something can see we have strange over there come here. on let's so take a look if you miss them on that spot you can still find them here in this uh, location and for the gray wind pigeon and the crimson flank pigeon i can i found them here uh, they are a bit rare but if you like miss them up if you miss this up uh, wait another uh, day, real day time and, and come back. But yeah, you can find a bunch of uh, pigeons here. You can find the, the black pigeon, you can find the gray wind, you can find the crimson flag. These gray wind and crimson flag are a bit rare. I don't know if you know another location where we can find them, but yeah, you can find them here on this bridge. So far, 100% you have already seen them because we bypassed this bridge uh, so many times. But like four types of pigeons are here, but we are here only for the uh, crimson fl uh, flag and, we, and the gray wind. But you can still find the black uh, pigeon and the white pigeon as well. Uh, so yeah, this spot is, is really good if you want to like find them all. Uh, then for the, uh, the black pigeon or the, still, uh, the black pigeon can be found here, sorry, uh, in this uh, location. We have two of them. So if you missed uh, earlier, you can actually come here uh, to grab the black pigeon. I'm just going to show you another location as well uh, for the black pigeon. And black pigeon, they have this black uh, head. So nothing else. This is what I've, I've been, I mean, their feathers, I mean, the, the wings are not any, does not have any color except they're white. Their head feel like is running. black. And yeah, you can see we have two more here. Yeah. The black pigeon and the white pigeon are very, 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 very common to find them all around. Then we're going to talk about the Crimson Finch. Uh, we have a bunch here in this location. They're going to be almost like everywhere, but because they are small, they hide under the grass. They are like so hard to find as, I mean, as well. But yeah, this whole area, they have pigeons and the Crimson uh, Finch. And I just want to like, show you the colors. So here you can just come back with one of your precious Omni uh, Ibiguity Nets, which you bought for 10,000 Mora, and you can capture one of these Crimson. They are orangish. You saw their uh, body, uh, they are orangish, so you can know this is the Crimson one. So the uh, Crimson uh, Pigeon and the Crimson Finch, they have like these orangish uh, colors uh, around them. Uh, then moving on, we have the, the Golden Finch. The Golden Finch is a kind of rare, but you can find them uh, here in these locations so yeah more than but I can the uh, where you can see my location where I am you can find a bunch of them here as well so yeah they are spread around and uh, they call them Finch so as you can see you have a bunch of them here so if you go to this location if you can't find them just wait a little bit sometimes they take a few seconds uh, to spawn so take your time wait for them uh, to spawn and, and, and capture them these look beautiful but the thing is like if you put them back to your uh, uh, place they're not gonna look that I mean you'll not be able to see them under the grass but yeah well no no problem 
So this I feel new like fridge, running. Uh, they can be found uh, in this location. We have more than one location. I just showed you on the map, but if you, uh, you can just find them here. Uh, and they are white. They are fully, fully, almost uh, white. As you can see, I'm just, I'm just gonna kill. I, I kill all of these things because I want them to be in my list, so I can I can show them to you. Because if you, you for these ones, the pigeons and the crimson snake, you need to like at least like kill them or defeat them so they can be in the list. So this is the snow uh, finch. Uh, so moving on, we have the emerald finch. Uh, they can be here found here in this location. There's a bunch of them to be even here in this location. These mountains we have found them here in these locations we can find them as well. Uh, but where you can see me where I'm standing, you can find like a bunch here close by. Here you can find them, and here as well. So where I am standing exactly, there's like two in front of me. Or uh, I was about to like just make them fly away from from me. But yeah, we have them here. They are the bluish uh, finch. As you can see, they have this blue hue. So they are like visible, clearly visible. You can see them here. So yeah, uh, we have like almost two here, and you can which you can move to capture. And we have another, I think, uh, just ahead of us. I'm just gonna pull this one off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and you can see here we have another. There's almost, uh, uh, there's also another third one here close by. So yeah, you will not be able to, you're not gonna find a hard time to get these. So if you follow this guy, you'll be able to get all of them. So for the wild ibis, they are almost everywhere in the southern islands, so in the four, three, four get islands. Ready for the and you can find these almost everywhere. So yeah, it's not gonna be hard. Just play around, you will be finding them uh, throughout <laughs> these islands. Uh, especially near the wreckages, near the shores, you can find the violet ibis. Uh, so sadly, you cannot capture the, the white one. The white one you can only buy uh, from the in game, but for the violet ibis, you can capture actually. Uh, crows, uh, crows are found in a, a few places, but this is for me. This is the perfect place. You can just spawn here with aloe, and uh, this crow will not fly away. If you, have a, if you don't have aloe in your party, uh, this crow will fly away. But yeah, it doesn't matter. If even if she, uh, the crow, uh, flew away, you can still come down here or on the stairs. We have three more. So if yeah, the initial crow fly or flew away. And you can come and get uh, the other one. But yeah, the crows are almost like in the southern islands uh, as well. And on these stairs, only on these stairs, we have like around like four uh, of them. There's another one at the bottom of the stairs, uh, as you can see. Uh, that's uh, where I mean, uh, and you can just you just saw her. So yeah, uh, if you want a lot of crows, yeah. So every week, buy five of many I mean, obligates, and just come here and, and capture crows only. Snow foxes can be found on the uh, dragon spine area. We have a bunch of them, and we have one uh, here. And sometimes they're even in these uh, ice pockets. You just move the ice, and you can find these snow foxes. So yeah, they are very, very common in these uh, snow areas. Of course, from the name itself, snow fox. So you know where to to find them. Uh, they're really, you know, they're really, really, really good. Uh, they are not as common as the crimson uh, fox, which I'm just gonna sp uh, talk about. The crimson fox. Are, are there everywhere so as you can see this this one for sure these these crimson foxes are one of your best source of uh, meat and they can be found anywhere but I, I just saw some here so I'm just recording the video yeah like I said even in initiative I showed, I showed you the video and you can find the crimson uh, foxes anywhere in this game so just uh, capture one and put them back and here she is I'm just uh, showing you the ones these one all of these so far they had to be killed now for the kitsune, you can find uh, kitsunes all over these uh, islands and you don't need to kill them or, or uh, capture them, you just need to like go beside them and interact them to be in, in the list but if you have the uh, BPT uh, net, you can just capture them with that, they, don't, they will not run away from you, this is the good thing about them, they will not run away, it doesn't matter which characters you have, you can just get as close to them as, as possible and they look beautiful to be honest, really really beautiful the kitsune and after that we have the squirrels uh, these uh, squirrels are almost like yeah almost everywhere uh, you can find them in a lot of places uh, i found like two here close by but like i said found almost uh, everywhere so they're small they will just run away there when they see you but if you have uh, aloe with you uh, they will not run away and you can see i don't have aloe in my party this is why i don't get clues at this time even if, even if you can see the boar everything is running away from me because i don't have aloe with me if i had aloe i could have gone uh, closer or, or got closer to these uh, uh, animals yeah there, there they are 
Then we have, we don't have the normal bear. I mean, you cannot capture the normal bear and take it to our party. The normal bear you can buy uh, in the serenity pot, but for the snow bear, we can find them here. So in this location, they are almost always like frozen. So have a fire user uh, to melt their ice, then uh, you can just uh, capture them. So just make sure every week you have like 5,000 more to spare and just go to uh, Wakamurasaki and get these So if you want all of these animals. I suggest to at least capture one of them at least uh, to take back. Uh, for the cats, sadly we have only two cats. We have the sapphire cat. Uh, she can be found in this location. Just go and interact uh, with her. She can be found here. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of cats that you will see all around. Uh, this white one is amazing if you want to put her in the house, uh, in your empty pot, if you create a place, you can just pay, put her there. Uh, then we have the grey snow cat. She can be found here in this location, just above, not under the stairs. And if she is not there, then just come here to this location uh, to find her. Uh, so she can be found here with a bunch of other cats as well. Uh, she's just behind this, uh, this small plant. If she's not there, then, then she's here, depending on your, you know, like, uh, uh, the quest that you have done and whatsoever. So if she's not there, then she's here. She looks beautiful as well. Then we have the snow weasel. The snow weasels can be found in the dragon spine area. Uh, I found them even sometimes in these small snow pockets where you have to love them. Sometimes they are there. So snow pockets, they sometimes have Pamora, sometimes they have even crystal flies, actually. And and uh, weasels is, uh, as well. So yeah, if some weasels like frozen, so just melt them out, and, and you can capture them. But like, if you melt them, they are hard to capture. But if you find them uh, in the world, they are easier to capture. Red-tailed weasels you can find in the Liyue uh, areas, and here as well we have almost like three of them. So these can be found uh, almost in the Liyue areas and in the uh, like southern islands. Uh, well. But not the island which will have like almost three species. Maybe they are there, but I, I didn't find them there. So yeah, I found like three here. So this is a good spot for you to come and, and, and capture them. And if you like, maybe like search online, you'll find more than, and than one spot. I mean, people have known it that they have like so many spots to find them. At the boot weasels, uh, I found uh, one here. So just take this uh, teleport and, and come here. Uh, they might not be visible because of the long grass, but as you can see, we have one uh, boot weasel there. I can just uh, see it clearly. So if you just come to the same spot, you will not be able to find uh, this uh, boot weasel. And how it looks? This is how it uh, looks. For me, I just wanted to like capture all of these elements so I can just put them in the list before uh, this quest uh, starts. So yeah, this is how it looks. I'm just going to use this video again to come back and capture most of these uh, animals when the quest uh, starts. In, in like a couple of days, maybe like two or three days after this video is aired. Uh, then we have the Anemo Crystal Flies. Uh, these can be found here. So, by the way, I think you, all of them will give you crystal core, all of these crystal flies. But for the Anemo, we can find them here in the southern areas. So, you get the idea. So, the Anemos you can find in the first areas, Geos in the second, and you know, like uh, Electro in the other, like southern islands. So, yeah, you know how to associate them. but. Uh, anymore we can be found near this uh, Windrise uh, statue, just come there and you can find a bunch of them actually. You can find a bunch of Anemo crystals uh, here, just capture them all and take them back. As, you can, as I told you, electro, electro crystal flies, they can be found in the southern areas. So yeah, just go one of the, to any one of these uh, teleport uh, uh, what called, uh, areas and you can just find them, just near these teleport stones. So yeah, you don't have, uh, if you can't find them here, if you mess them up, if you want more, then yeah, go to another nearby teleport and just search for them. So don't go like far away, just, just near the teleport. So, you know, just, just teleport, capture and leave it. So yeah, uh, this is how they look. Not much of a difference, just only a color difference from the animals. Typical for the other uh, what's it called? animals as well. So all of the animals under the other section, uh, animals, insects, whatever they are, you can capture them. So this was the electro uh, crystal fly. Now we move on with the cryo, of course the cryo. So where can we find them? In the snow area. I found them in these uh, uh, melted, I mean, snow pockets, which which are melted. And I found I found them. But if you just want to like guarantee to capture them, you can find a bunch uh, here, uh, almost like three of them. So like I said, mostly just teleport to a, a station uh, and, and just uh, search nearby. You might be able to find uh, some of them. And if you're doing the quest, uh, you will be finding them eventually. So always have some omnis uh, with you when you're walking around. You know, like doing your normal quest. If you don't want to waste your time doing this, so just have them around with you 
just explore the world, do the side quest. If you see an animal that you know, hey, I can capture them, then, then capture it. So moving on, we have the geo. We in this uh, area, in this near this domain, the uh, Gaion uh, domain, uh, we can have a bunch of them here. Actually, for me, uh, maybe the character was like short, so I had like I had to like jump and, and get them. And since I have like Sayo with me, this is why they are not running away from me. By the way, because of uh, of uh, Sayo, she is helping a lot. So always have these two party members when you are exploring or trying to like capture these insects or the animals. But really, it makes a huge difference. Especially with the, with animals that fly away and just run away, or especially if you want to like capture a lot of like fowl or, or meat, so yeah, have like, uh, them in your party and just get as close as you can and then capture these. So yeah, uh, this was the last uh, uh, crystal fly, and then we will move on to the uh, to the lodges. So the first one is the sunset lodge. So we can find uh, one here. Uh, just teleport to this uh, shrine and just immediately go back uh, facing uh, to the east side and we will find one of them uh, here. Actually you will find a lot in these uh, locations, in these uh, islands. Uh, really, I mean I found a lot. You can even, you can even find uh, one in another area that I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, but this this uh, sunset is kind of like the uh, rarer version maybe so yeah the sunset and the sunny uh, these can be found in these uh, southern islands uh, most so if you if you have unlocked this puzzle so you can find one here as well so if you just uh, come down i have not made a video on this maybe i'll make a video so check that, that one out how to unlock this area but you can find a sunset uh, lodge uh, here uh, underneath as well so one is there one is here you can just come and capture them i'm just gonna go from above so you can see it first uh, hoping that it might run away uh, might, might run away so, so yeah this is what i'm careful but yeah here we have another sunset lodge so moving on, we have the Golden Lodge. Golden Lodge can be found all around these islands. They're gonna be a bunch. So many in fact. As you can see, here I am. And there's one on this uh, rock. But it's not only one. I can see another one popped up, a third one. So yeah, there's gonna be a bunch. You can see one, Adventure yeah, time. one two, three, and four. So yeah, they're everywhere. I think I missed one. Yeah, this one is running away. So yeah, you have a bunch of them on, on these islands. So just check the shores you will be able to find uh, the golden lodge uh, in this area so this the golden lodges are more common around the, the shores of this area so some said this is the golden and now we're gonna move back to the the, the sunset and the golden looks familiar sunny lodges we can have almost two so just teleport here and you'll find a cave and you will be able to find uh, two of them inside uh, which you can capture uh, yeah just go slowly if you don't have sire with you so because you don't want to like you know like them away. so yeah just capture them and uh, we have another one uh, as well so if you have done this again this puzzle so you can just get one of the sunny uh, loaches here so just uh, just go south and like near one of these uh, just go left and you'll find uh, some so you can find a, a sunset loach in, in this area as well as a sunny loach so yeah the sunny and the sunset like i said before they can be found in the southern uh, islands and just uh, have sayo uh, with you and you'll be able to capture like uh, these animals uh, easily but yeah these two are the uh, rarer type uh, then we're gonna move on with the frogs the green the green frogs uh, they are literally everywhere and this section this section is good by the way for the frogs uh, you can find them almost anywhere near these uh, puddles small lakes whatever they are you can just find these uh, green frogs uh, they are really common so yeah i don't think we'll be you'll have a problem so by now more, maybe mostly you got all of the frog types but yeah here we have uh, a green frog uh, and here i'm just gonna go to the archive and i'm gonna uh, show you which one of it I'm, I'm just putting these archives in the section so you can actually like, see which what i'm capturing like because sometimes the resolution is not that good you might not see what i'm like capturing uh, the mud frogs still they can be found uh, in the early uh, areas like in the in the wind shrine and all of these areas and we can have two or three uh, here in this area as well so if you want the guaranteed, yeah, guaranteed spot uh, come here you see we have normal frogs as well and we have also the golden crabs which i'm gonna go back uh, to later but here now we're focusing only on the, uh, the mud frogs they are the orangish uh, type they are like slightly rarer than the the normal frogs yeah just it's just the skin color nothing else uh, defining them uh, here we can have the the blue frog 
Uh, I just found one, maybe you can find more. Uh, so here I am just near that uh, festival point. Uh -huh. And we have one of them there, you can see it. It's not gonna move me to that because I have Sire in the party. But, but yeah, I just found a couple in this uh, area, so you can just search around for more if you want to. And again, they don't look that much different from the other two normal frogs in the mud frog and they, but they have like these black dots uh, on their body so now we move on to the crabs the golden crab I, of course you saw earlier we have a, a golden crab near one of the mud frogs but we have more we have a bunch of them here so they spawn in the western side of the area and you can find a bunch of them I mean, uh, they always like it's not always like one just one no. you can have like a bunch of them and we have more actually here uh, this is like the third location that I'm showing you for the crabs. So here we found some. Uh, we just I just show you here as well here and here. If you come to the south, we have more. So just take this route and you will be able to find a bunch of them. Here you can see they are under the water actually. So you can just go uh, and uh, capture them with your hand. But if you like want to like build up your uh, serenity, use the Omni Ibiguiti uh, net, which is modified by Wakamurasaki. So yeah, try to like just get her quest done and buy, then then come and do this. Yeah, this is the golden crab. For the sun crab, sadly this was like the only location that I found. Maybe if you know more, then put that in the comments, guys, uh, to help the other like uh, people. Uh, but yeah, I, can, I found like a bunch of them here, the sun crabs, and you can find the ocean crabs as well. But I found like almost like four, uh, three or four sun crabs here. You can see there's another ocean crab here. So yeah, this was the only spot that I found. Uh, and to be honest, like maybe maybe I could find more, but I didn't didn't waste uh, much time and I made this video. And ocean crabs, you already saw, uh, they are like more common so you will see them uh, all around but this is like a good spot this uh faculty area is a good spot to find these uh, ocean crabs uh, sun crab and more so just roam around near the, sh uh, the shores and you will be able to find them so put the to put them in the list just go and, and catch them by your by pressing square or if you have the omnibuity just use that like you have used in the event uh, to capture them simple and easy so this is the ocean crab for the general crab and the pale crab, so the general crab and pale crab, these can be found here in these locations. So I'm just going to show you the locations for the general crab. So these small islands near the shores in the southern islands, uh, just go there. You will definitely find the general crabs and the pale crabs all over. So here in this spot, uh, that's a general crab. But after I grabbed it, I found a pale crab as well. And there's another wild ibis as well. So yeah, they are very, very, very common. I thought they're gonna be pale red is gonna be like a rarer, but to be honest, like no, uh, I found like dozens of, of these general crabs and uh, the pale red crabs. As you can see, hi, here I am. I just uh, teleported to this area. There's gonna be a bunch of uh, of them like just uh, behind me. Yep, very, very common. So yeah, all of these shores uh, in the southern islands, just, just, just walk around. You will find uh, maybe like uh, loaches, some uh, unagis. It says like all of these sometimes they even crows. So yeah, just the South Island they hold a bunch of uh, uh, like uh, insects and animals. Then we move on to the blue horn lizard. If you just teleport to this location, you will just find one of them lying on the rock. Here on my right, as you can see it, uh, I have Sayo with me, so they're not gonna be afraid. So I'm just gonna get close and, and get them. Uh, this one is as well, I mean, uh, common. I have seen uh, this uh, blue lizard uh, almost like everywhere actually it's very very common uh so a bunch of times then we have the red horn uh we can find a red horn and a green horn here in this location so just be careful don't roam around just when you come here get the red horn and i'm just going to show you the location for the green horn as well so they're nearby so don't move a lot you might like scare them and they will run away then you have to come back again so yeah so this is the red one now we're gonna go uh to the green one uh which is just nearby so yeah don't move we have both of them we have the green horn and the red horn so capture one then go for the other one just beside it that's where we captured the red one now here we have the green one just in front of it just behind this one it might be hard it's hidden but you might be able to find it easily but maybe maybe it might take some time so that's where it is and here we have it in the our uh, living beings uh, archive not much of a difference between the red and the uh, the green just just the color basically everything else looks the same uh, so here in this location i found the the pit uh, lizards or we have two of them but yeah in these areas you can find them but they are a bit uh, rarer like just the red horn and the green horn 
So just uh, be careful. I don't if you find like if you find more places, then uh, please uh, let me know uh, where I can get them. But, but yeah, I just uh, found uh, two in this uh, location. Uh, you may might be able to find more. And finally, I'm gonna speak about the Atlan unis and the Redfin uh, unis. To be honest they are everywhere on these islands just near the shores you will be able to find a bunch of them so if you miss them from this location just roam around just be near close to the shore and you will be able to find them. these are the last uh, two uh, animals uh, that we have so if you like this video guys please support the channel by subscribing please follow us on instagram thank you for being there guys for us uh, it really helps i mean uh, if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel and as always uh, stay awesome guys thank you for your support